Hi, in this video, we're going to briefly just talk about some of the new features in vSphere 6.7. So one of the new features coming with vSphere 6.7 is ESXi Quick Boot. So ESXi Quick Boot allows us to reboot ESXi very, very fast because we don't reinitialize to the BIOS level. So we're just effectively reinitializing at the ESX OS level, for lack of a better term. And this workflow is actually integrated into Update Manager. So when you're patching hosts, patching ESXi 6.7 hosts, you'll have the option to enable ESXi Quick Boot if your server model supports it to leverage this new feature. If your server does not support ESXi Quick Boot, a normal reboot option will always be there to use. The next enhancement is some VM encryption. Uh, enhancements. So the UI for VM encryption has been streamlined to make it much, much easier when you're creating virtual machines to enable VM encryption or enable VM encryption on existing virtual machines. vSphere 6.7 also brings TPM 2.0 support. And with that, it allows us to more securely ensure that what has booted on the ESXi host is trusted so that no malicious software or unsigned VIBs may be present. This works in conjunction with Secure Boot, which was introduced in vSphere 6.5. And we've also introduced the same concepts, but at a virtual machine level, so for vTPM to enable features like a Microsoft Credential Guard. The VCSA has an enhanced backup uh, service and allows us to now schedule backups. So we can now create a backup scheduler, either a daily or weekly or a custom scheduler to automatically back up our vCenter server appliances or PSC appliances running 6.7. We're all very familiar with EVC. It goes back a, a long time. We now have taken the concepts of EVC that we traditionally know at a cluster level or at ESXi host level and bringing that down to a virtual machine level. So we'll be able to create or assign EVC baselines at a per VM basis. The VCSA VAMI has been redesigned using the Clarity framework. So now it's much, much easier to manage your vCenter server appliance and also monitor the resources used by the vCenter server appliance, monitor its database, and monitor its disks. And lastly, vCenter 6.7 comes with an improved vSphere client, or what you might know as the HTML5 client. Um, it's not 100% feature parity yet, but the vast majority of your daily workloads, uh, workflows, will be available in the vSphere client with vSphere 6.7. And we're always working to improve and in, uh, enhance the capabilities of the HTML5 vSphere client for the full deprecation of the vSphere web client. So that's just some of the enhancements and what's new in vSphere 6.7. I hope you've enjoyed this video.